In linear algebra, the Kolesky decomposition or Kolesky factorization is a decomposition of a Hermitian positive definite matrix into the product of a lower triangular matrix and its conjugate transpose, which is useful e.g. for efficient numerical solutions and Monte Carlo simulations. It was discovered by André Louis Kolesky for real matrices. When it is applicable, the Kolesky decomposition is roughly twice as efficient as the Lu decomposition for solving systems of linear equations. Statement The Kolesky decomposition of a Hermitian positive definite matrix A is a decomposition of the form where L is a lower triangular matrix with real and positive diagonal entries and L asterisk denotes the conjugate transpose of L. Every Hermitian positive definite matrix has a unique Kolesky decomposition. If the matrix A is Hermitian and positive semi-definite, then it still has a decomposition of the form A equals L asterisk if the diagonal entries of L are allowed to be zero. When A has real entries, L has real entries as well and the factorization may be written A equals LLT. The Kolesky decomposition is unique when A is positive definite. There is only one lower triangular matrix L with strictly positive diagonal entries such that A equals L asterisk. However, the decomposition need not be unique when A is positive semi-definite. The converse holds trivially. If A can be written as L asterisk for some invertible L, lower triangular or otherwise, then A is Hermitian and positive definite. LDL decomposition A closely related variant of the classical Kolesky decomposition is the LDL decomposition, where L is a lower unit triangular matrix and D is a diagonal matrix. This decomposition is related to the classical Kolesky decomposition of the formal asterisk as follows. The LDL variant, if efficiently implemented, requires the same space and computational complexity to construct and use but avoids extracting square roots. Some indefinite matrices for which no Kolesky decomposition exists have an LDL decomposition with negative entries in D. For these reasons, the LDL decomposition may be preferred. For real matrices, the factorization has the form A equals LDLT and is often referred to as LDLT decomposition. It is closely related to the eigen decomposition of real symmetric matrices, A equals Q lambda quart. Example. Here is the Kolesky decomposition of a symmetric real matrix. And here is its LDLT decomposition. Applications. The Kolesky decomposition is mainly used for the numerical solution of linear equations ax equals b. If A is symmetric and positive definite, then we can solve ax equals b by first computing the Kolesky decomposition A equals R asterisk then solving Li equals B for Y by forward substitution, and finally solving L asterisk X equals Y for EX by back substitution. For linear systems that can be put into symmetric form, the Kolesky decomposition is the method of choice. For superior efficiency and numerical stability, compared to the Lu decomposition, it is roughly twice as efficient. Linear least squares systems of the form ax equals b with asymmetric and positive definite arise quite often in applications. For instance, the normal equations in linear least squares problems are of this form. It may also happen that matrix A comes from an energy functional which must be positive from physical considerations. This happens frequently in the numerical solution of partial differential equations. Nonlinear optimization Nonlinear multivariate functions may be minimized over their parameters using variants of Newton's method called quasi-Newton methods. At each iteration, the search takes a step s defined by solving h as equals g for s where s is the step. g is the gradient vector of the function's partial first derivatives with respect to the parameters, and h is an approximation to the Hessian matrix of partial second derivatives formed by repeated rank 1 updates at each iteration.
Two well-known update formulae are called Daviden, Fletcher Powell and Broyden, Fletcher Gold Farb Shano. Loss of the positive definite condition through round-off error is avoided if rather than updating an approximation to the inverse of the Hessian. One updates the Koleski decomposition of an approximation of the Hessian matrix itself. Monte Carlo simulation The Koleski decomposition is commonly used in the Monte Carlo method for simulating systems with multiple correlated variables. The correlation matrix is decomposed to give the lower triangular L. Applying this to a vector of uncorrelated samples, U, produces a sample vector Lu with the covariance properties of the system being modeled. For a simplified example that shows the economy one gets from Koleski's decomposition, say one needs to generate two correlated normal variables and all one needs to do is to generate two uncorrelated Gaussian random variables and we set an Kalman filters Uncentered Kalman filters commonly use the Koleski decomposition to choose a set of so-called sigma points. The Kalman filter tracks the average state of a system as a vector x of length n and covariance as an n by n matrix P. The matrix P is always positive semi-definite and can be decomposed into LLT. The columns of L can be added and subtracted from the mean x to form a set of two n vectors called sigma points. These sigma points completely capture the mean and covariance of the system state. Matrix inversion The explicit inverse of a Hermitian matrix can be computed via Koleski decomposition, in a manner similar to solving linear systems using operations. The entire inversion can even be efficiently performed in place. A non-Hermitian matrix B can also be inverted using the following identity, where BB asterisk will always be Hermitian. Computation There are various methods for calculating the Koleski decomposition. The computational complexity of commonly used algorithms is O in general. The algorithms described below all involve about n three-thirds flops, where n is the size of the matrix A. Hence, they are half the cost of the Lu decomposition, which uses two n three-thirds flops. Which of the algorithms below is faster depends on the details of the implementation. Generally, the first algorithm will be slightly slower because it accesses the data in a less regular manner. The Koleski algorithm The Koleski algorithm, used to calculate the decomposition matrix L, is a modified version of Gaussian elimination. The recursive algorithm starts with I equals 1 and A equals A. It's step I. The matrix A has the following form, where E minus 1 denotes the identity matrix of dimension. Dimension I minus 1. If we now define the matrix Li by then we can write A as where note that by B asterisk I is an outer product. Therefore this algorithm is called the outer product version in. We repeat this for I from 1 to N. After N steps we get A equals I. Hence, the lower triangular matrix L we are looking for is calculated as the koleski banachevich and koleski kraut algorithms if we write out the equation A equals L asterisk. We obtain the following formula for the entries of L. The expression under the square root is always positive if A is real and positive definite. For complex Hermitian matrix, the following formula applies. So we can compute the entry if we know the entries to the left and above. The computation is usually arranged in either of the following orders. The koleski banachevich algorithm starts from the upper left corner of the matrix L and proceeds to calculate the matrix row by row. The koleski kraut algorithm starts from the upper left corner of the matrix L and proceeds to calculate the matrix column by column. Either pattern of access allows the entire computation to be performed in place if desired. Stability of the computation Suppose that we want to solve a well-conditioned system of linear equations. If the Lu decomposition is used, then the algorithm is unstable unless we use some sort of pivoting strategy. 
In the latter case, the error depends on the so-called growth factor of the matrix, which is usually small. Now, suppose that the Kolesky decomposition is applicable. As mentioned above, the algorithm will be twice as fast. Furthermore, no pivoting is necessary and the error will always be small. Specifically, if we want to solve x equals b, and y denotes the computed solution, then y solves the disturbed system y equals b where here, 2 is the matrix 2 norm, cn is a small constant depending on n, and epsilon denotes the unit round off. One concern with the Kolesky decomposition to be aware of is the use of square roots. If the matrix being factorized is positive definite as required, the numbers under the square roots are always positive in exact arithmetic. Unfortunately, the numbers can become negative because of round-off errors, in which case the algorithm cannot continue. However, this can only happen if the matrix is very ill-conditioned. One way to address this is to add a diagonal correction matrix to the matrix being decomposed in an attempt to promote the positive definiteness. While this might lessen the accuracy of the decomposition, it can be very favorable for other reasons, for example, when performing Newton's method in optimization, adding a diagonal matrix can improve stability when far from the optimum. LDL decomposition in alternative form, eliminating the need to take square roots, is a symmetric indefinite factorization if A is real. The following recursive relations apply for the entries of D and L. For complex Hermitian matrix A, the following formula applies. Again, the pattern of access allows the entire computation to be performed in place if desired. Block variant when used on indefinite matrices, the LDL asterisk factorization is known to be unstable without careful pivoting. Specifically, the elements of the factorization can grow arbitrarily. A possible improvement is to perform the factorization on block submatrices, commonly 2 by 2, where every element in the matrices above is a square submatrix. From this, these analogous recursive relations follow. Note the presence of matrix products and explicit inversion. This limits the practical block size. Updating the decomposition A task that often arises in practice is that one needs to update a Kolesky decomposition. In more details, one has already computed the Kolesky decomposition A equals R asterisk of some matrix A. Then one changes the matrix A in some way into another matrix, say, and one wants to compute the Kolesky decomposition of the updated matrix. The question is now whether one can use the Kolesky decomposition of A that was computed before to compute the Kolesky decomposition of rank 1 update the specific case where the updated matrix is related to the matrix A by is known as a rank 1 update. Here is a little function based on written in MATLAB syntax which realizes a rank 1 update. Function L equals col update n equals length for k equals 1 nr equals sqrt squared plus x squared c equals r l s equals x l l equals r l equals plus s asterisk x c x equals c asterisk x s asterisk l end end rank 1 down date a rank 1 down date is similar to a rank 1 update except that the addition is replaced by subtraction. This only works if the new matrix is still positive definite. The code for the rank 1 update shown above can easily be adapted to do a rank 1 down date. One merely needs to replace the two additions in the assignment to RNL by subtractions. Proof for positive semi-definite matrices the above algorithms show that every positive definite matrix A has a Kolesky decomposition. This result can be extended to the positive semi-definite case by a limiting argument. The argument is not fully constructive, i.e., it gives no explicit numerical algorithms for computing Kolesky factors. If A is an n by n positive semi-definite matrix, then the sequence A equals A plus n consists of positive definite matrices. Also, A k in operator norm. 
From the positive definite case, each ak has koleski decomposition ak equals lkl asterisk k. By property of the operator norm, so lk is a bounded set in the Banach space of operators, therefore relatively compact. Consequently, it has a convergent subsequence, also denoted by lk, with limit l. It can be easily checked that this l has the desired properties, i.e., a equals l asterisk and l is lower triangular with non-negative diagonal entries, for all x and y, therefore, a equals l asterisk. Because the underlying vector space is finite dimensional, all topologies on the space of operators are equivalent. So LK tends to L in norm means LK tends to L in tree wise. This in turn implies that, since each LK is lower triangular with non negative diagonal entries, L is also generalization. The Koleski factorization can be generalized to matrices with operator entries. Let be a sequence of Hilbert spaces. Consider the operator matrix acting on the direct sum where each is a bounded operator. If A is positive in the sense that for all finite K and for any we have, then there exists a lower triangular operator matrix L such that A equals R asterisk. One can also take the diagonal entries of L to be positive. Implementations in programming languages in Python, the command Koleski from the numpy.linalg module performs Koleski decomposition. In MATLAB programming, the CHOL command can be used to simply apply this to a matrix. In other, CHOL gives Koleski decomposition. In C++, the command CHOL from the Armadillo library performs Koleski decomposition. The Eigen library supplies Koleski factorizations for both sparse and dense matrices. In Analytica, the function decompose gives the Koleski decomposition. The Apache Commons math library has an implementation which can be used in Java, Scala and any other JVM language.